Hey everyone, what's going on? So earlier today I made this video about the rapper MF Doom, and I talked about how it was connected to this Allen Iverson theme that I've noticed, and how it syncs up to Bridges and also Patrick Ewing. And in a nutshell, for a number of years I've been saying how Allen Iverson and Patrick Ewing are important to each other because they both played at the Jesuit University Georgetown, and they were both number one draft picks in the NBA. They're the only people from Georgetown to be the number one draft picks and a whole lot more. And if you notice in all of the media outlets, or most of them, they gave us a picture of this rapper named MF Doom wearing a New York Knicks jersey of Patrick Ewing. And it's also interesting that he actually died on Halloween, but they didn't report it until New Year's Eve. And another major thing I've been talking about is this Batman narrative and how it syncs up to James Bond and so on. Because at the Batman shooting in 2012, that was in Aurora, Colorado, there was a preview for the James Bond movie called Skyfall. And in that preview, they just so happened to show a building with the word Aurora on it. And then Aurora, Colorado gets shot up that same night. And I've been talking about this all year. That I thought, you know, Batman, that happened on the anniversary of the moon landing. And Sean Connery just so happened to be born on August 25th, which is the same day that Neil Armstrong, the first guy to walk on the moon, had died. And if you look up that date, August 25th in history, it's also a date that was known for what is called the Great Moon Hoax. So let me type it out really quick. The Great Moon Hoax. And the Great Moon Hoax was this hoax they put in the paper or whatever. And it was about a civilization of bat people who lived on the moon, right? Batman, bat people, a whole lot more, you know. Ed just talked a lot about this and how it's all synced up to the moon. Sean Connery... Died on the night of a full moon then, after I talked about how he might possibly die this year. And I'm bringing this up because, you know, MF Doom dies on Halloween. And I, after I made this video, I found out that one of the Bond girls died. And I'll talk about that in a little bit. But, you know, it's it's absolutely synced up to what I'm talking about. I even mentioned in this video how... With the Nashville bombing that was right next to the Batman building in Nashville, how that was all synced up. And there was a theater shooting in 2015 in Antioch, Tennessee. And Antioch is also where the the Anthony Quinn Warner supposedly lived. And, you know, think about Harley Quinn and a whole lot more. You know, such as Batman was played by Christian Bale in that movie. The Dark Knight Rises that got shot up supposedly in Aurora, Colorado. And the first, the term Christian actually comes from Antioch, right? So we got Antioch, the Antioch shooting, theater shooting, and so on, reminding us of the Batman shooting. I also talked about how the Antioch shooting in 2015 was at the Mad Max movie, and we just had the death of Joe Immorton that was on Mad Max. And the main character who plays Max in that movie, the actor is Tom. Hardy, who also plays Bane in The Dark Knight Rises, who's the bad guy. So, there's there's a big narrative here, Ed. Another thing I, I mentioned in this video was how it was synced up to bridges. And remember, Bane also blows up the bridges in The Dark Knight Rises. But, uh, I said I had recently just started... Somebody at work told me to watch this show called Big Mouth. And it was like a day before I noticed this pattern with Alan Iverson. and. Anthony Quinn Warner was born on January 17th, and the word bridge equals 117, something I've been talking about for a really long time. So it just kind of stuck out to me. And then I saw the show, literally the opening scene, it shows that the school they go to is Bridgeton. So I was like, huh, interesting, you know. And But more of the story, I'm making this video because I made this video earlier today, and... Then I really wasn't able to get on the computer very much. I got I got a couple of young kids, and they don't really let me do very much. You know, I I can't even get on my phone because they want to hold my phone. I can't get on the laptop. 
rarely watch TV, rarely watch cartoons, and so on. And anyway, so I finally put my youngest son to bed because he's he's a lot worse than the other one. And I put him to bed, and I figured, oh, I can finally eat something without having someone crawl on me. And while I eat, I'm just going to turn on Netflix and watch Big Mouth. And I I just so happened to be on like the it was probably like it was towards the end of the fifth episode. So I kind of watched that while I was eating, and then the next episode started playing, and what's so funny about it is that, in the, like, right in the very beginning of that next episode, they talk about Patrick Ewing, right? I'll be at Patrick Ewing Brewing Company, and it's like, what are the odds that Patrick Ewing is even associated with this show? You know what I mean? Like, I had no idea that the show was even set in New York, but... Let alone to just, ha- you know, have Patrick Ewing being important to the very next episode that I watch after I make this video talking about how Patrick Ewing is important. And they even go to this place later on in the episode, Patrick Ewing Brewing Company, you know? So it's just like, you know, what are the odds? Talking about the show has bridged in and then, you know, Patrick Ewing. Apparently the show is based off of a couple of the people who write the show, it's based off of their life. And that's pretty interesting because if you go back and watch the video that I just posted, like the main, main character in the show, his name is Nick. Let's see if it'll pull up here. Nick Kroll. This is the guy who plays like one of the main characters, right? Nick Kroll. And when you look this guy up, he just so happens to have the birthday of 6'5". And go back to that video where I talk about Allen Iverson and YouTube, you know, restricting my Allen Iverson video on the 65th day of the year, the same day the 76ers, his former team, played their 65th game of the season in Philadelphia equals 65, and it was founded on the date leaving 65 days in the year. And they lost because of a shot made by Zach Levine of the Chicago Bulls, and Zach Levine equals 65. And then YouTube took my video down completely. They removed it. Three months later on the date 6-5, right? And oddly enough, I even put that, my, the, the video they took out down, I even took that video, put that video on YouTube six months and five days after Allen Iverson's birthday. 65, you know? So this guy's born on 6-5. Notice he also went to Georgetown University, right? Georgetown University. He's also age 42, which is interesting because Georgetown equals 42. His name equals 42, and he's 42 years old. So, <laughs> something pretty interesting there, but uh, let's go back up here and look at some of this stuff. So, I noticed the show Big Mouth equals 95 and 41, and the show currently has 41 episodes. The voice that of Patrick Ewing in the show is the actor Jordan Peele, and he's 41 years old right now. Patrick Ewing's full name, Patrick Aloysius Ewing equals 95, just like Big Mouth. Knicks equal 41 and 95, the team he played for. Halloween equals 41 and 95, the day that MF Doom died. MF Doom died nine months and five days before Patrick Ewing's birthday. You know, talked a whole lot about this and how it was even connected to my life, right? Because my name equals 95, my full name equals 95. Got a bunch of sinks to Martin Luther, the guy who, you know, went against the Catholic Church and so on. But I'll just, I'll leave that out of here. But the episode was also called Pillow Talk, and Pillow Talk equals 41. And remember the the Nashville bombing and all that? It was supposedly, it, not injured, I can't think of the word. It, uh, supposedly it affected... 41 buildings, right? And AT&T is next to the AT&T building. AT&T equals 41. And it's all synced up to 9-11, such as how it was 260 days before 9-11 and Nashville, Tennessee and Francis Bacon's Matria equals 260. And, you know, AT&T made the emergency dialing code 911 in the year 68. And it was, you know, AT&T was founded on the date 3-3 which was six months and eight days before 9-11, and, you know, 1968 was 33 years before, and 1968 was also the year that George Bush graduated, and his birthday is 68 days before 9-11, and, you know, 
9-11 construction began the year 68, 30, 33 years before, so. Which is also interesting, right? Because if you write out 33, it equals 156, and the word false flag equals 100, or 156, and false flag equals 156, something I talked about with Alan Iverson stuff, right? 156 prime number is 911, so. But notice, Alan Ezale Iverson equals 260. This episode, Pillow Talk, also equals 260 in the Francis Bacon Ciphers, just like Georgetown Hoyas equal 260 in the Francis Bacon Ciphers. Something that I've been talking about like crazy. Maybe I'll bring it back up here when I talk about the Bond Girl, but... Notice in the non-Francis Bacon Ciphers, Georgetown Hoyas equals 64. Patrick Ewing equals 64. He's currently the coach for the Georgetown Hoyas. And also today is 64 days after Halloween. And it's also a span of 65 days, right? The number important to Alan Iverson, so. Also put out in Francis Bacon, Big Mouth equals 188. Patrick Ewing equals 188. And he also equals 188 in the non-Francis Bacon ciphers. My name equals 188 in the Francis Bacon ciphers. And I don't know, that number just always makes me think of the Illuminati. Bavarian Illuminati equals 188. See it a lot around things that are associated with that too so i mean i'm not part of the illuminati but you know there, I've, I've mentioned this like forever about how there's definitely i have a whole bunch of connections to a lot of things you know my name my name even equals 58 it's like freemasonry and my name equals 147 in the francis bacon as, as well just like freemasonry so something sticks out there you know August 6th, this big day I've talked about with Batman, too. That's the day leaving 147 days in the year. And conspiracy, the word, equals 147. So, I don't know. You know, most people would consider what I do conspiracy, even though it's, you know, not conspiracy, what you study it enough. But if you go from, if you go to the next Halloween from today, it's 301 days and... Patrick Ewing Brewing Company equals 301. I thought that was interesting, right? Also 139 and Pillow Talk equals 139. Georgetown University also equals 301 in the Francis Bacon Cipher. So there's definitely something synced up to Georgetown, right? The show's based off of this guy, one of this this guy's life, and he went to Georgetown. He's born on 6'5. The number connected to Allen Iverson. Somebody even commented on one of my videos earlier today about the movie Time Cop, and it, I was like, that doesn't even have to, like, I don't even get what the point of that is. Like, I mean, I find it interesting, you know, what they wrote, but I was like, what does that have to do with this video? And then when I was looking up the area of Georgetown, like, the neighborhood of Georgetown in Washington, it says that the movie Time Cop was filmed there, right? So, and I also just talked about the movie Enemy of the State in the video. And how the the bad guy, his birthday was 9-11. And the whole movie was about the Patriot Act. And, you know, before the Patriot Act, but it was all about, you know, surveillance of the people and so on. So, just interesting. I didn't realize that movie was filmed at Georgetown. I don't think, anyway. If I wrote it on my blog, I, I just don't remember that. But, also circled The Exorcist, so... I don't know. I need maybe I need to watch that movie. It's just interesting, but what are the odds? What are the odds that you know I make that video that I start watching the show and they got a thing about Patrick Ewing on the show? I mean, it's so random. Just watch the show, just randomly because I thought it was kind of funny. You know, it's kind of a true. I don't know. It's kind of a true cartoon if you really watch it about like getting boners in like junior high or whatever and like, you know. I mean, I don't know, I never came in my pants and had to flush them down the toilet, but it's not, in, I mean, but I don't know, I just think it's a good show, actually, I thought it was good, so, started watching it, but, anyway, let's move on to the Bond Girl thing here, so, and, you know, I also mentioned, uh, Virginia a whole bunch in that last video, and then I went, to, right after I made it, I went to, before I got off the computer, I went to CNN, and they had two stories about Virginia, that they were from a couple days before or whatever this Virginia senator dies. Never even noticed that story before, but it was a headline story 
And there was also a Walmart shooting in Virginia. The guy who died, his name is 177, just like Virginia. And my original Allen Iverson video I put on YouTube 177 days before Allen Iverson's birthday. Or a span of 178, and Allen Iverson equals 178. I think New York Knicks also equal 178. But the word pandemic equals 177 too, so... No, I was just pointing out some extra things that I actually talked about in that other video, but. You know, go back and watch that video. I even talked about the Bond girl. And I did, I messed it up a little bit. I, I was talking about the TV show. Right after I documented a bunch of stuff about Alan Iverson and the a bridge theme. Let's see here, I just wanted to point out. I, I was talking about. Alan Iverson reminded me of the Bridge theme in Philadelphia, and then I went to see it, and there was a thing about this TV show called Bridgerton, one of the headline stories. And when I was reading through the article, it said that it was based off of a show, or a, a book, by a lady named Julia Quinn. And, if, you know, Julia Quinn, I think about Anthony Quinn, Warner, I think about Harley Quinn, I talked about how I, I blogged just days before the Christmas bombing about a guy named Richard Quinn. Talked about my cousin Jacob, who has a middle name Quinn. And then, you know, when I found out about the Batman building years ago from Bobby Simpson, he I wrote, I blogged about how it was important to Harley Quinn and the movie Harley Quinn coming out. So then this show, Bridgerton, is based on a novel by Julia Quinn. And the reason I brought all, all that up was because I wondered if there was something important to uh, Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman. When I looked up Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman... She, the actress who plays her, is Jane Seymour, who just so happens to be the actress who plays the Bond girl in the film Live and Let Die. And that's interesting, because if you look up James, the James Bond films, list of James Bond films here. The first film that stars the actor Roger Moore just so happens to be Live and Let Die. And that was the movie where Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, played the Bond girl, right? Live and Let Die, James Seymour. And the movie that this new lady was in, Tanya Roberts, just so happened to be called A View to a Kill, which is the last movie that Roger Moore was in. And in regards to the moon, Roger Moore is the only James Bond who actually goes to the moon in the movies, right? In one of these movies, I think it's Moonraker. He actually goes to the moon. And then, you know, think about how Sean Connery died on the night of a full moon on Halloween. And he died all synced up to the moon. The word moon in English extended equals 210. And I knew that that English extended cipher was important to pay attention to because of synchronicity I had with my girlfriend's brother taking him to work. So that's why it was interesting the, the word moon equaled 210. You have to pay attention to the things that you know, the the world was showing you, right? And it was showing me at the time to pay attention to that cipher. And then Sean Connery died 210 days after uh, the Bond girl named Pussy Galore died. And Pussy Galore equals 210 in Gematria. And Sean Connery also died, what was it, two months and ten days after the anniversary of the Great American Eclipse, right? 210. And, I mean, look at this lady. So this new one, Tanya Roberts, her name equals 210 in the Francis Bacon Ciphers, just like Pussy Galore, just like Moon, right? I also talked about all of these other numbers in relation to when Sean Connery died. When, when Sean Connery died, I mentioned how in October, early in October, I, my friend had reached out to me about making rap beats again with him, and he is a... My Uncle Barney, who died, synced up to the Jesuits in Jeopardy in 2017, is also his uncle, but we're not related. And I even mentioned how I, I thought it was important. And then when Sean Connery died, I said it was all synced up to the moon and it was synced up to Alex Trebek. And then Alex Trebek died like a week later, right? And, you know, it's just interesting because my friend's name equals 210 and my uncle's name equals 210. And... Notice how they both also equal 218. 
and Tanya Roberts also equals 218. Remember, around that same time, some guy started a blog mocking my blog, and his name was James Jumper. That equals 218, and it was right around the time we learned reverse gematria, and he referred to me as Nad on that, on his blog, my name in reverse, and then his name equals 166, and reverse gematria equals 166, and Barney Murphy equals 166, and a whole lot more. 166 days after my birthday, Montagraph made a, a video saying, talking about the number 166, and remember, he also threatened Zach. And then a car crashed through Zach's house on Christmas Eve, right? And that's interesting because they said that this Bond lady went for a walk on Christmas Eve and then collapsed. And then she ended up dying today on 1-3. Which 1-3 just happens to be... I'm pretty sure 1-3. Could be wrong. I think 1-3 was the day I asked my mom at the gold slipper when my Uncle Barney's birthday was just before he died. And it was like 166 days after his birthday. The gold slipper equals 166. His wife was Betty. Betty and Barney. The Flintstones. The Flintstones there to 166 episodes. Based on the Honeymooners. Honeymooners equals 166. So, But I wrote Barry Toffel by her here with these two 18s. Because she just reached out to me too. And I still haven't responded to her. But, you know, her name is 166 as well. And remember, she was on Zach's radio show right after Monograph talked about the video... About 166, 166 days after my birthday, talking about her, Mondograph was trying to go after her pet pigs, and I was sitting next to two stuffed animal pigs, toys, that my daughter told me to watch that she called her pet pigs. But all of this sticks out to me because in the, the Nashville bombing, where I talked about how it synced up to Batman, you can go look at the video, but... I said I think it's important to the date August 6th of 2022, which is Tisha Bob, when Tisha Bob begins in the year of the tiger. And, you know, Christian Bale equals 86, Bane equals 86, Skyfall equals 86, which is the movie that was the, the James Bond movie in the Batman previews. What is it? Aurora Colorado 86 and James Egan Holmes equals 86, so... Kamala Harris also equals 86. She could possibly be the president by then, you know. It's interesting. And I'll, maybe I'll talk about that in a little bit more, but I also mentioned in that Batman video how I think there's something to do with Paris, France. And Paris, France also equals 218. It's all synced up to the Jesuits, and Martin Luther died on 218. And remember how Martin Luther was synced up to me as well, right? Martin Luther was born exactly 499 years before I was born, and that's the 95th prime number, and he has the 95 theses, right? And the Jesuit anniversaries on the day leaving 95 days in the year, and a whole lot more. And then once again, my name's 95, and so 218, big number. Also in regards to the 95 theses, on the Julian calendar, which... Pretty sure that's what they used at the time. Because it didn't transfer over until like 1582 when it got real popular. On October 4th, right? But, uh... I'll have to look again, but that, you know... He actually released the 95, 95 Theses on Halloween, the same day Sean Cottery died, the same day MF Doom died. On the Julian calendar, right? And... On the Gregorian calendar, it would be November 10th, which is my birthday and his birthday. So, look at this too. So, the actress, Tanya Roberts, her full name is Victoria Lee Bloom. And she just so happened to die 273 days after Pussy Galore, or the actress who plays Pussy Galore named Honor Blackman. And Victoria Lee Bloom equals 273. What are the odds, right? Also, Pussy Glory equals 50. Tanya Roberts equals 50. Tanya was in the movie called A View to a Kill that equals 50 and also 218 in the Francis Bacon Cipher. Says. This other number, 264, is just, it really sticks out to me a whole lot. Because remember when Sean Connery died? I mean, I've been talking about this number ever since, pretty much. Like, it's been a humongous number. Roger George Moore equals 264. And he's the he was the Bond in the movie that this girl was in. But Sean Connery also equals 264. 
Kamala Harris equals 264. White House, 264. King Charles III, 264. Queen Elizabeth II, 264. Like, just go back and watch all of these, all of my videos in the last two months. Talk all about this number, 264, and how it's super, super important. So, you know, what are the odds? Now this lady's name equals 264. The other Bond girl that I mentioned in my last video was in Live and Let Die. The film with Roger Moore, so... Batman shooting on the moon land anniversary of the moon landing. It was the 43rd anniversary of the moon landing and Aurora equals 43. And another reason I thought it was important to Sean Connery was because this year was going to be the 51st anniversary of the moon landing and Batman equals 51 and the word moon equals 51. And then Batman has been this humongous narrative, right? And think about too, remember when Right before my uncle died and Zach's house got crashed into, they Zach launched the website called All for Truth, and he launched that 218 days before his birthday. And then there, there's a whole lot more to it, but it's all synced up. His first YouTube channel got deleted on Elon Musk's birthday, 628. It's the day leaving 186 days in the year, and it was 186 days after... Christmas Eve, I believe it was, when his house got crashed into, and his name equals 186, and synced, that guy was called, Monograph was the Umbrella Man, and the original Umbrella Man is Louis Stephen Witt that equals 186, and Louis Witt equals 186, and, and a whole lot more, but I'm just pointing this out because Elon Reeve Musk equals 264, and I think SpaceX, too. I know there's a whole bunch of ciphers here, but SpaceX, no, SpaceX equals 186, but... Elon Reeve Musk equals 264 and 186. And think about how his birthday is on the day leaving 186 days in the year, right? Interesting is his English extended, he equals 1110, like my birthday and Martin Luther's birthday. The 314th day of the year, right? Like pi. And remember, Tanya Roberts also equal 314 in the Francis Bacon Cyphers. I don't know. Remember how they delayed the Elon Musk or the SpaceX launch earlier with the astronauts in May? They delayed it to be 51 days before the 51st anniversary of the moon landing. Also, Zach's channel got suspended or something happened to Zach's channel in November. And it was a video where he's talking about Elon Musk and they 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 suspended it or something like that. And it was 218 days before Elon Musk's birthday, right? 218 days. So. I don't know. Just wanted to talk about some synchronicity. Don't know the full meaning, but. What are the odds? A Bond girl now dies and I'm randomly watching this show. I have no idea that even involves New York, really, or Patrick Ewing, let alone. How's Patrick Ewing on this show? Like. I don't think the New York Knicks are going to make the NBA Finals or anything like that, but there's definitely something I'm supposed to learn from the New York Knicks, right? I mean, I wonder if there's something to do with uh, Washington Irving, right? Right, Washington Irving and the Knickerbocker, because I think Washington Irving, if I can remember right, he was the guy who popularized the flat Earth. That's why. Kyrie Irving came out and said he believed the Earth was flat right after, you know, Pizzagate and all that other stuff, right? And I feel like Washington Irving did that in the the newspaper, the Knickerbocker or something like that. So I have to go back and look at that, but it just makes me wonder. There's something important to that. Bridges. You know, we just had Bitcoin too. Bitcoin got to thirty three thousand, and remember in two thousand. 17 into 2018, I was talking all about how the Super Bowl with the Eagles at U.S. Bank Stadium was all synced up to, you know, cryptocurrency and stock market crash and a whole bunch of other stuff. So, you know, what are the odds that it reaches 33,000? Bitcoin does. 
have to go back and review that video too, but it was all synced up to Francis Scott Key, and Francis Scott Key actually lived in the Georgetown neighborhood of Washington. He's the guy who wrote the National Anthem, and that's where all the kneeling stuff is important too. His birthday's 8-1, and think about Minneapolis, where Super Bowl 52 was held, that had the bridge collapse on 8-1 that fell 81 feet, and the main trestles were 81 meters long, and it took him 81 minutes to transport everyone to the hospital. The word Pope in Hebrew equals 81. Just after that, after that Super Bowl, Pope Francis, he was 81 years old, and then, you know, eight months and, what was it? 818 was eight months and one day after his 81st birthday. So, I don't know. There was also, right after that Super Bowl, we had that Falcon Heavy launch, and then we also had, the very next day after that Super Bowl, the story was market meltdown, right? Uh, so the stock market had dropped a whole bunch. Right after the Super Bowl, that was at U.S. Bank Stadium. I talked about how it was all synced up to the stock market crash. It was in the 88th anniversary of the stock market crash. But we'll leave it there. Just wanted to share some synchronicities. We'll figure it out eventually. Have a good one. Peace.